Never Stop Learning, week 202. We're gonna take a quick look at the Move Tool Basics in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. All right, so here I am in this blank document and I wanna create a new layer. So I'm gonna hit Command, Option, Shift, N, and that's gonna create a new blank layer for me. I need some pixels to play around with, so I'm gonna use the Marquee Tool to create a selection and then just fill that in with my foreground. All right, currently I'm using the Marquee Tool and I wanna to switch back to the Move Tool. So I'm gonna hit the V key on my keyboard and that's gonna automatically activate the move tool for me. All right, so now that I have this guy activated, I could just click and drag to reposition these pixels. And that's gonna work on any of the layers that I have currently targeted. You could tell it's targeted because I have this blue highlight around it. So if I click on the background, now the background is targeted, click on the layer, now that layer is targeted. So I could just click and drag and I'm able to move around those pixels. Now I'm gonna use a modifier key to use one of my common functions, which is just duplicating a layer. All right, so I'm gonna hover over these pixels, hold down Option, and now you see I get a double cursor here. Well, if I click and drag, I'm gonna create a copy of that layer and reposition the pixels. Let's take a look back over here in the Layers panel. Now I have Layer 1 and Layer 1 Copy, and currently Layer 1 Copy is the one that's targeted. So if I click and drag around this layer, Layer 1 Copy is the one that's moving around. If I hover over the pixels that are on layer one, then click and drag, I'm actually ignoring those pixels and still working on the targeted layer. And that's because I don't have this auto select feature turned on that you find over here in the options bar. All right, I'm gonna use a modifier key to activate that on the fly. All right, so currently this is the layer that's activated and I wanna move this guy around. So I'm gonna hold down the command key, then click and drag then I'm able to target that layer and reposition it. All right, so if you look back in the Layers panel, you see Layer 1 is the one that's activated. Now let's say you want to move this guy, hold down the Command key, click and drag, and that's how you're able to switch back and forth. Now, let's take a look at the Options bar again. Every time I hold down the Command key, I'm temporarily activating the Auto Select feature. When I let go of the Command key, you see that guy's not turned on anymore. You could actually make this sticky by just coming up here, clicking on it once, and now you have auto select turned on all the time. So this is a way to kind of ignore the modifier key. So depending on your workflow and your project, you might wanna have that guy turned off sometimes or turned on. All right, now another feature I use on here a lot is gonna be the shift key. All right, so if I click and drag on this guy, you see how I'm able to move it around freely? Well, let's say I just wanna go straight up and down. So I'm gonna click on it, hold down the shift key, and when I move my cursor up and down, you see it's keeping it nice and straight even when I move my cursor away from it. All right, so I'm gonna release the mouse. Now I wanna go horizontally, so I'm gonna click. Now I'm moving horizontally, but see how it's not that straight? Well, if I hold down the Shift key, it's gonna keep everything perfectly straight for me. All right, I'm gonna release that. So that's some of the modifiers that I use with this often. Now, let's take a look back over here in the Options bar. You see we have Auto Select turned on, and just to the right of that, it says Group. There's a little drop down menu and there's a different option that says layer. I'm gonna leave group turned on so I can show you the difference between the two. Now, let's make some copies of these guys. I'm gonna option, click and drag, option, click and drag, option, click and drag. Now back over here in the layers panel, you see we have copy two, three, and four. So we have several copies of layer one in here now. All right, if I wanna target a range of layers, I could just come down here, hold down the shift key, click on it. Now you see I have these layers targeted and I'm ignoring layer one. Now I'm gonna click on copy four to show you another way to do that. All right, remember you have auto select turned on currently, so I'm gonna hold down the shift key and then just start clicking on the pixels that are located on the different layers and now you see they're being targeted over the layers panel. All right, I'm gonna target copy four again and this time I'm gonna turn off the auto select feature. All right, hold down the command key and the shift key when you're clicking on these other sets of pixels. And now you see we're getting that same feature on the fly. All right, now that I have all these different layers targeted, I'm gonna hit Command G, and that's gonna turn those guys into a group. All right, back in the options bar. I'm gonna turn on auto select again. We got it set to group. So let's see what the difference is between group and layer. Now, if I click and drag on any of these guys that are inside group one, you see everybody's moving together. All right, if I go over here where layer one is, I'm gonna click and drag on those pixels and those guys are moving by themselves. So this is independent and all these guys are gonna be moving in unison and that's because I have the group feature turned on. 
Now I'm going to click on this little drop down, switch over to layer. Now this is going to allow me to move these guys independently inside of the group. All right, so depending on how you need to work, just come back over here to the options bar and make the change right in here. All right, back in the layers panel, you notice I have layer one copy two targeted. Well, let's see what happens if I use this feature right here. It says show transform controls. Clicking on it once is going to bring these transform controls around the pixels that are inside of that layer that's targeted. All right, so if you're not sure what uh, the transform controls are, think about them kind of like if you go over to the edit menu and find free transform, or if you hit command T on your keyboard, that's going to actually actually allow you to make a transformation here. So now I'm just uh, resizing this guy and now my option bar changed. Over here on the right, these are the more important options here. You have this guy right here, your international symbol for no, that's actually going to decline your transformation. And the guy to the right of that, that little checkbox, that's going to accept your transformation. All right, so I'm going to decline for now. And the way it works is whichever layer you have targeted, that's the one that's going to get your transform controls. Now, if you have several layers targeted, all of the pixels in those layers are going to get the transform controls. Now, one little thing that I did run into is sometimes you might have this feature turned on, but you don't see the transform controls. So I'm going to come over here to the view menu and you see right here where it says extras. I'm going to turn that off. All right. So currently I cannot see the transform controls, even though I have this feature turned on. So if that ever happens to you, go back to the view menu find extras and just make sure you have that guy turned on. Now in my workflow, most of the time I have this guy turned off just because it gets in my way a little bit, but in other projects I might have it turned on. All right, back over here in the layers panel, I'm going to right click on the group, ungroup these layers, and I'm just going to target everybody. Now, if I were to hit shift and click on layer one, I'd actually deselect some of these layers. So I'm going to hold down the command key, click on layer one. Now I have everybody targeted. All right, you might have noticed that these guys turned on. These are our alignment buttons. So I want to use this guy right here. When I hover over it, it's showing me that this is going to align vertical centers. So when I click on it, all of the vertical centers are aligned. And you see we have like this horizontal row now. But the distribution might be a little bit off. I noticed that the gap right here is a little bit bigger than the gap right here. Well, again, while I have all these layers targeted, I'll go into distribution. And I'm going to choose this option right here. This is going to be distribute horizontal centers. Clicking on that, make sure everybody has a nice even spacing in there. Just to the right of that, we have the 3D modes, and that's for when you're working with 3D objects. So I'll cover that in a separate video. And there you have it, folks. That's the Move Tool Basics in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.